What's going on everybody? My name is Aiden and welcome back to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we've got a Chicago Bulls and Washington Wizards game reaction in which the Chicago Bulls ended up losing the game to one of the worst teams in the Eastern Conference. Now to be fair, the Wizards want a two-game winning streak coming into this game and they now have a three-game winning streak. Isn't it quite funny how things turn around because now the Bulls are on a three-game losing streak, ladies and gentlemen. So a harsh reality that we have to bite the bullet of. We ended up losing in embarrassing fashion, and I want to talk about some key issues that I have with this Bulls performance. As the game reaction, that's what it's supposed to be about. To talking about what went right and what went wrong. A lot of things went wrong today. But before we get any further, if you liked the video and you want to see more from me, drop a like, drop a follow, and or subscribe if you are new. And let me know in the comments below your thoughts about the Chicago Bulls, their game today, your player of the game, and everything in between. We lost the game 107 to 105, and I'm frustrated and flustered, and I'm very tired, ladies and gentlemen. I will be honest with you, I do not want to talk about the Bulls right now, but lo and behold, obligations and whatnot, so let's get started. The first thing that I'm going to target is the lack of efficiency from this Bulls team. Now, I'm going to get to Nikola Vucevic later, but the one positive you can put in his cap, even in the trashy points that he got, he was efficient. But other than that, efficiency, non-existent today. Kobe White, efficient first half, dreadfully inefficient second half. DeRozan, really inefficient most of the night. Caruso was inefficient. A lot of guys were inefficient today. And you just can't win games with that much inefficiency in the team. It is as simple as that. So that's the first thing I want to take away. How do you fix that? Well, the key easy answer is to just make more shots. Maybe get more open shots than what we got today. But there's no real solution. Just one game, you shoot well. Other game, you don't. You know, shoot better next game. That's the only advice I could give to the Chicago Bulls in that regard. Maybe Billy Donovan can do better in that regard. The second thing I hated, and this is going to target Vucevic and Billy Donovan. Why did Vucevic get this amount of minutes that he got today is beyond me. Now, I'm going to quickly take a look at how many minutes he played because I don't want to leave you with any misinformation here, right? But Vucevic stunk up the joint today. He had 29 minutes today, Nikola Vucevic. He almost cracked 30, point, 30 minutes. How did he have the first half that he had? Zero points, one shot taken, was awful all night defensively. Like, genuinely, it was... It, I, I, look, you guys know me by now. I'm not the type of guy to just throw shade at anybody willy-nilly. But today, oh my, was he so frustrating to watch. Like, I could not bear watching him. I was, you know... I. I also believe I have a bit of a long temper in the sense that I don't get angry easily or I don't get angry to the point of, you know, throwing things and punching walls and whatever easily, right? I'm not a swearer either, but he got me very close. Like, he stunk up the joint today. And then I kept on saying I wanted him out of the game. I wanted him out of the game. He just simply did not bring anything to the table today. He couldn't help with the defensive end. He could, he was just reluctant to shoot today. He was awful. Like, genuinely really, really bad. Probably one of the worst performances I've seen from him in a Bulls uniform. He had like a double-double today in, the, in, a, in a sense. So it might have not been that bad. But me watching him, he was so bad today. He got destroyed by undersized centers in Marvin Bagley and Richard Holmes. He couldn't shoot to save his life. He didn't want to shoot to save his life anyway. He was ridiculously bad. Probably the worst plus minus I would say in the team. I don't know, but that's, you know, I, I hated him today, you know, maybe not hate, but I very strongly disliked his performance. But then I thought to myself, he's played so bad. And Billy Donovan's going to give him 30 minutes a night. He's going to give him 30 minutes tonight. It doesn't matter. And this is the problem with the Bulls, right? Performances don't matter. It doesn't matter. You could have a stinker. You could have the best game of your life. You're going to get the same minutes. It doesn't matter what happens. You will play the same minutes. Vucevic did not deserve 30 minutes tonight. He did not deserve 29 minutes tonight. You could clearly see... Instant impact when Andre Drummond came in. Andre Drummond got a double-double within three quarters. He outclassed and outplayed Nikola Vucevic all night long. It, we're finishing the game with the guy that doesn't want to shoot, has not produced anything for the Bulls today. Wasteful defensively. It was hacking every center under the sun. And we still gave him 30 minutes, and 30 minutes tonight. That's a Billy Donovan problem. This is set minutes problem. And I'm sorry... We don't have a team 
that deserves set minutes. We don't. We, don't, we are not the Milwaukee Bucks. We are not the Boston Celtics where Jason Tatum can have an off night but deserves those minutes because he helps the team win in more ways than one. We are the ninth seed. Atlanta beat the Celtics today. They are two games away from us as the 10th seed. We are not in safe territory. Yeah, we could make the play-in because let's be honest, Brooklyn won't get close, but we're not in safe territory. So we shouldn't have set minutes. We shouldn't have that. But that's what we saw with Nikola Vucevic. And that was a disaster. And I put that on the coaching staff just as much as the player itself. Vucevic may have stuck up the joint, but Billy Donovan let him. And that is an issue. And that's always been an issue. Set minutes. You know, sometimes you see trust. But we talked about trust, right? We talked about how Batim has earned the trust of the coaching staff. Where was Batim tonight? We signed Javante Green for a 10-day contract. Where is Javante Green tonight? Both wearing tracksuits and sitting on the bench. Well, Javante Green was. But Tim played a little bit in this game. And then he was nowhere to be seen. It was a disaster, ladies and gentlemen. It was a genuine disaster watching this Bulls team play. Let's go to the third thing that I hated. We got outworked. Now, again, being outworked is not something that I often see with this Bulls team. But today... We saw it in a nutshell. The only reason why we were in this game is because we had talent on this team. We could get to the line. We made some timely shots. And there was some bench production today. Javon Carter had a good game. Um, Drummond obviously had a good game. There was some bench production. That's why we kept in the game. The Wizards weren't amazing today. They stuck up the joint just as much as, as we did. But you want to know the difference? They worked harder than us. And I said it in the stream and I'll say it here. If you guys have League Pass or you guys have any way to re-watch this game, just do a little bit of research. Watch maybe the second or third quarter. You pick a quarter. I want you to watch how the Wizards attack a defensive rebound and how the Bulls attack in a defensive rebound. And I want you to see the work ethic of those two teams and see how we lost that game. When the Bulls shot a three, you had five, maybe four out of the five Wizards players all swarming the paint trying to block out guys like Andre Drummond and Nikola Vucevic. Rebounding in committee, it's a very common thing in the NBA. You go to the Bulls, you see the Wizards shoot a three. It's just Vucevic in that paint. You'll see DeRozan standing outside of the paint. Maybe Caruso comes in there every now and then, but we're expecting a long rebound. And the Wizards, because no one boxes out on this team, has easy access into the lanes to get offensive rebounds and putbacks. In one of the most pivotal moments in the game, a free throw for the Wizards. The player missed the free throw, and we couldn't secure the rebound. In a free throw, when the game is on the line, we gave up on offensive rebounds. So, I think that is a night and day thing as well. We got outworked by a team that wanted it more. A team that has nothing to fight for. A team that is not making the playing tournament. Nowhere near it. A team that has been awful all season. A team with Kyle Kuzma out of the lineup. Denny, who's one of their better players, out of the lineup. And they outworked this Bulls team. We should be ashamed of ourselves for that performance that we just provided today. I don't want to hear it's just one game. I don't want to hear that. Because if it was just a one game and we were unlucky, fair enough. We were down the whole game and we got outworked the whole game. That is not luck. The Wizards deserve that win every step of the way. And we should be ashamed of ourselves for that. And fair play to the Wizards on that three-game winning streak. I'm happy for them. But at the end of the day, we had sights and our mindset on different things. They are set for the lottery. They are set to try to get that first pick. We are set in the playing tournament, trying to get that double chance. We're in two different paths, and we ended up messing it all up. So congratulations, Chicago Bulls. You found a way to disappoint your team once again. I hope you're proud of that. I hope you are happy with that, and I hope that you can live with that. Because at the end of the day, I am done thinking about the Bulls after this video. I'm going to go right back to sleep. I'm going to sleep like a baby. I'm going to wake up and I'm going to pretend like the Bulls don't exist for the next two days. And I will see you in the next video when I'm forced to talk about them. But until then, my mind's definitely not on the Bulls. Um, my player of the game, no one deserves it. So I'm not going to give it to anyone. Have a wonderful and safe day, everybody. Happy video. Yep. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay tuned for more. Take care and peace.